Hello YouTube, I'm Arielia and this is Let's Nuzlocke Pokemon Sapphire. Before we get started, I'm going to go over the rules for nuzlocking. First and most important, if a Pokemon faints, it's dead and must be released. Rule number two, you're only allowed to catch one Pokemon per area if the first Pokemon you come across in an area faints or you fail to capture it. You have missed your chance. You also must nickname every Pokemon and if your starter dies, you lose. Now let's get started. Yeah, yeah, internal battery run dry. That only affects like the berries and stuff, so that shouldn't be a problem. Start up a new game. Hello, Professor Birch. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. I thought that was Oak. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times as friendly playmates and at, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? Are you a boy or are you a girl? I always imagine him standing right there in front of me asking me about my gender. Like it's not obvious. My name doesn't quite fit so I always leave out one of the L's. Okay. Ah, okay. You're Arielia, who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. I love it how you have to ride in the moving truck, like with all the crap, like you're just cargo or something. Yeah. Hi mom. Arielia, we're here honey. It must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Arielia. Let's go inside. Cool, I get my own room. Apparently that didn't happen before. See, Arielia, isn't it nice in here, too? The Movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient! Your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to see it. To, to set it, sorry. I do love it how I have a dad in this game, and then, like, every other game is like, Your dad doesn't exist. Is this the correct time? Yeah, because time doesn't matter in this game. How do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient! Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. I think that's hinting that there might be a potion in my computer. Which I will need since I'm nuzlocking. Yes! Oh, also, I'm gonna talk to, like, everybody because I haven't played this game in, like, a million years. Oh, quick! Come quickly! Look, it's Petalburg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on. We brought you this report from in front of Petalburg Gym. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. I love it how your mom refers to your dad as Dad and not Norman, which is his name. Oh, yes. One of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. 
First, I'm going to talk to this fat dude. If you use a PC, you can store items in Pokemon. The power of science is staggering. Professor Birch spends days in his lab studying, then he'll suddenly go out in the wild to do more research. When does Professor Birch spend time at home? <laughs> Never. Hello. Oh, hello, and you are? Oh, you're Arielia, our new next door neighbor. Hi! We have a son about the same age as you. Our son was excited about making a new friend. Our son is upstairs, I think. You don't even say your son's name. You just refer to him as our son. Hello. Pokemon fully restored, items all packed, and... Hey, you! Who are you? Oh, you're Arielia, aren't you? Moved in next door, right? I didn't know that you're a girl. Dad, Professor Birch, said that our new next door neighbor is a gym leader's kid, so I assumed you'd be a guy. It's kind of sexist, dude. My name's Brendan, so hi, neighbor. Huh? Hey, don't you have a Pokemon? Do you want me to go catch you one? Aw, oh, darn, I forgot. I'm supposed to go help my dad catch some wild Pokemon. Some other time, okay? Darn, I have to go help my dad. Anybody in the lab say anything interesting? Before I go get my mudkip? Yeah, I'm getting a mudkip. Hmm? Professor Birch. The professor's away on field work. Ergo, he isn't here. Ergo. Using fancy words, dude. Oh, let me explain what field work is. It is to study things in the natural environment like fields and mountains instead of a laboratory. The professor isn't one for doing desk work. He's the type of person who would rather go outside and experiment and experience things than read about them here. So his lab assistant just kind of chills there. Doesn't help him do field work or anything? Hello, kid. I can hear someone shouting down the road here. What should I do? What should we do? Somebody has to go help. I think that means me. Help me! You're doing field work and you're failing at it. That thing is like level 2 or 3. Hello, you over there. Please help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. You won't keep them on you in case things like this happen? My kip. Yeah, that thing's level two. Like, you could probably just, like, punch it to death. Yeah. Tackle that dude. Because ain't no one uses growl. And it's dead. Only 15 experience points. Phew. I was in tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh? Hi, you're Arielia. This is not the place to chat, so come back to my... So come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? So, Arielia. I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you battled earlier... You pulled it off with a plum. The heck does a plum mean? Like seriously, is this game trying to get me to look up words? Damn. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yes, as thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Arielia received the Mudkip. While you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Mudkip? Yeah. Okay, he's a dude, like most starter Pokemon. So, I will name him Cody. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a darn good trainer. My kid Brendan is out on Route 103 studying Pokemon. 
it might not be a bad idea for you to go see Brendan. What do you think? Sure, because if I say no, you'll just ask me again. Great. Brendan should be happy, too. Get Brendan to teach you what it means to be a Pokemon trainer. Okay. And it looks like we're kind of out of time, so we will continue this next time. Thanks for watching.